Hello, this is Ron from Star Speakers for Arts, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing a autumn-y, moody, fall-inspired drawing. Uh, this is one of my characters. I just wanted to draw him for absolutely no reason. And I just wanted to do a fall theme. I don't really experience that season in my country for either like really hot, intense summers or really wet, uh, also intense rainy season. Uh, it's a tropical country, so you don't really experience the four season shenanigans that other countries get up to. But I still wanted to do a fall, autumn, orange, and browns, and just a little less saturated and le less vibrant color type of drawing. So that's what we're doing today. This video is also a little bit longer. It's 13 minutes, a little past 13 minutes. Uh, I wanted to also try a slower paced video that wasn't always cutting in between stuff. Something that you can relax to while you're maybe drawing yourself. Maybe you just, you're studying and you just want to have a video on. I won't be talking to the entire thing. Um, I don't really have much to say to be honest. I might pop in at every now and then if there's something interesting. But yeah, that will be this video. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, this is my original character. Um, I just wanted to draw him originally. I wanted to draw him outside in like a park with autumn trees and orangey colors, but I didn't really like the composition, so I put him in a, I guess, a coffee shop instead. Uh, some things I wanted to try for this particular piece were like a little bit more defined, harder edges on like background details. So I've been looking through my art books that I bought several years past and what I think I always notice and like with their backgrounds. Uh, background is something I'm still working, trying to get better at and I can do like really rough splotches of color that would resemble stuff but the detailed sharp stuff in backgrounds I tend to forget to do. So that's something I tried to do here uh, with the wallpaper. I didn't really include the clip here but I did try to define the design of the wallpaper a bit more without it taking too much attention because that's also another one of my problems when I do backgrounds. I tend to put so much detail into it that it just takes the spotlight. So I don't know, I'm trying to find the balance here. One thing I did enjoy a lot in this piece is this particular like window here with the, the cheese in view. Um, I usually do not enjoy drawing cheese, but I saw this like cap on TikTok on how to do it, or not TikTok, YouTube shorts on how to do it, and I tried it out. It was fun. I like drawing cheese now. One thing I do still need to figure out is how to draw like the branches, like that's from the trunk to the branches. That's something I'm still a little iffy on. So we're just gonna make a nice little park here in the background. Nothing to define, because I didn't really want to do that. Also, let me know what you think about this longer video. It's still not quite the real-time slow video that I original, originally pitched. But let me know if you like this slightly longer video. Um, it's not as zoomed. Uh, it's not as sped up, rather. And they also included on the right side a preview overview sort of thing. Um, that's usually what I record when I do the real version of my videos. but. Let me know if you like this layout. Uh, I think it looks okay. I think it's nice to see the the zoom out of it and also nice to see the details on the left side as well. And it makes the video look more interesting. But let me know. Let me know what you think.
so you can leave this drawing. I just wanted it to be like flat, a little bit cell shaded. That's why I kept the line art from the beginning. One thing I've been trying to move out of is be trying to be less dependent on line art, but I wanted this to be just flat and cell shaded. But <sighs> I guess it's a condition where I can't help but just full send it and I ended up shading it all the way. Eh. One thing I'm also trying to learn this particular drawing and in the future is how to communicate the shapes of different thickness and weights of cloth. So I wanted the inner sweater to look very soft and fluffy and then the outer bomber jacket to be a little bit more stiff and structured. Um, I think I managed to do that but uh, I'm gonna try a couple more material types eventually as well.
So at this point, I realized, oh, I kept my line art, and I try my best to blend it in and only keep it where it's really important. So I do that by just eye chopping the colors around it and just airbrush it around the lines. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed being this drawing, and I will see you in the next one, and every that maybe. <laughs>